We're taking a look at nine celebrities and persons of note who passed away without leaving a will or an estate plan. The first celebrity on our list is the legendary king of pop, Michael Jackson, who did leave behind a will but did not have an estate plan when he passed. The renowned pop icon passed away on June 25, 2009 due to a cardiac arrest brought on by anesthetic propofol. Michael Jackson's net worth at the time of his passing was estimated at a staggering $500 million. As for the beneficiaries, Jackson's three children, Prince, Paris, and Blanket, became the primary recipients of his estate. However, several legal battles over his assets ensued. Today, Michael Jackson's estate is estimated to be valued at over $2 billion, thanks to the success of his music, posthumous releases, and various business ventures. The world mourned the passing of the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin, from pancreatic cancer on August 16, 2018. Aretha Franklin's net worth at the time of her passing was estimated at around $80 million. It is believed that Franklin's aversion to discussing her finances and estate planning may have contributed to her not finalizing one of the two documents found after her passing. Aretha Franklin's four sons became the beneficiaries and the estate went through a probate process. However, conflicts and challenges among family members arose over the authenticity of the two wills dated in 2010 and 2014. In July 2023, a jury ruled in favor of the 2014 document found by Aretha's niece under a sofa cushion in Franklin's home. Today, Aretha Franklin's estate is valued at approximately $6 million, as certain assets were sold to settle debts and other financial obligations. Kurt Cobain, iconic frontman of Nirvana, committed suicide on April 5, 1994. Cobain's net worth at the time of his passing was estimated to be around $50 million. While the exact reasons behind Kurt Cobain not having a will remain uncertain, some speculate that his mental health struggles may have played a role. Following Kurt's death, his wife Courtney Love and daughter Frances Bean Cobain became the primary beneficiaries. However, legal battles and disputes over his estate continued on for many years. Today, Kurt Cobain's estate continues to generate significant revenue through his music, merchandise, and licensing agreements. Its value is estimated to be around $450 million. Hollywood and the world were completely taken aback at the accidental drug overdose of acclaimed actor Heath Ledger back in 2008. Ledger's net worth at the time of his passing was estimated at approximately $20 million. Speculation suggests that the young actor's age and busy schedule may have contributed to him neglecting to create a will. Following his death, his daughter Matilda Ledger, whom he shared with actress Michelle Williams, became the primary beneficiary of his estate. Today, Heath Ledger's estate is valued at around $25 million, primarily due to royalties from his films and other investments. Civil rights leader Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., whose assassination shocked the world on April 4, 1968, also did not have a will or estate plan. After his death, King's wife, Coretta Scott King, and their four children became the primary beneficiaries. His legacy lives on through the Martin Luther King Jr. Center for Nonviolent Social Change. Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. dedicated his life to the fight for equality and justice and was estimated to be worth $250,000 back in 1968. His Nobel Peace Prize, intellectual property, and personal artifacts have been legally contested between his family, museums, and for-profit companies bearing his name. American poet and satirist Dorothy Parker, who did have a will before she died of a heart attack on June 7, 1967, left her estate to Dr. King, which was passed on to the NAACP after Martin died. Today, Dr. King's net worth is estimated to be around $8 million, and his impact and influence continues to inspire generations. Renowned actor James Gandolfini, forever remembered as Tony Soprano, passed away from a heart attack while on vacation in Italy on June 19, 2013. Gandolfini's net worth at the time of his passing was estimated at approximately $70 million. Despite his success and financial resources, 
the celebrated actor's unexpected death at the age of 51 led to speculation that he may not have had a comprehensive estate plan in place. Gandolfini left the majority of his estate to his wife, Deborah Lynn, and their children. However, the distribution of assets faced complications due to estate taxes and legal issues. Today, James Gandolfini's estate is worth approximately $70 million, and his legacy as Tony Soprano remains etched in television history. Tony Shea, former CEO of Zappos, entrepreneur and venture capitalist, died on November 27, 2020, due to complications from smoke inhalation in a house fire in Connecticut. Tony Shea's net worth at the time of his passing was estimated at around $850 million. Shea's unexpected death and his reported desire for privacy may have contributed to his lack of comprehensive estate planning. Following his death, his father, Richard Shea, became the primary beneficiary of his estate. However, conflicts arose and the distribution of assets faced many challenges. Today, Tony Shea's estate is still being managed and its exact value remains unclear. Legendary comic book writer, creator of Marvel superheroes and the king of cameos, Stan Lee, passed away on November 12, 2018 due to heart failure. Stan Lee's net worth at the time of his passing was estimated at around 50 million. While Lee's influence on the comic book industry is immeasurable, his lack of a comprehensive estate plan surprised many. The beneficiaries of Stan Lee's estate include his daughter, J.C. Lee, and various charities. But legal disputes among family members arose after his death. Today, Stan Lee's estate continues to generate income through the Marvel franchise, merchandise, and ongoing projects, making it difficult to determine its current value. Tupac Shakur, influential rapper and actor, had a net worth estimated to be around $40 million when he was murdered in Las Vegas, Nevada on September 7, 1996. Tupac's unexpected and violent death at the young age of 25 likely prevented him from completing a will or estate plan. His mother, Afeni Shakur, became the primary beneficiary of his estate. However, legal battles and conflicts over his music rights and unreleased material ensued. Pac's sister, Setua, became the primary beneficiary when their mother passed away from a heart attack on May 2, 2016. Today, Tupac Shakur's estate continues to earn revenue through his music, merchandise, and posthumous releases, with an estimated worth of over 200 million. Those were nine celebrities who sadly passed away without a will. Their lives and legacies serve as a reminder of the importance of estate planning, regardless of one's fame or fortune. Thanks for watching. Could you help us out with the algorithm by smashing the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos? We'll see you in the next one.